hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to show y'all five out of six of my of my blazer collection and tell me how you're like this new hairstyle it's really just a half up half down i decided to do i don't know if i'll be doing it again but we shall see i am a huge blazer fanatic super obsessed with blazers i know that they can put some up into an outfit i'm just gonna show y'all about six of my blazers that i absolutely love there are more and maybe one day i just decide to break the videos up because it's just too much in one day for me to handle this zebra print blazer i absolutely love i got it from new york and company in a xxl and i just honestly zebra is my favorite animal if you did not know and I really wanted to start getting, instead of like more solid colors, I still haven't completed my rainbow of blazers, but I wanted to make sure that I get some prints. And I saw this zebra print, it was only, I wanna say $20. So I instantly put it in my cart. And it's very comfortable. I feel like this could be, this is a easy blazer that can make any boring outfit pop. So I decided to just pair with these purple top, this purple, light purple top, dark purple shorts, solid color thing, and put the zebra print on top of it with these platform heels that I also got from New York and Company. And I just really love this blazer. I feel like every girl, our boy, are they them however you identify should have a zebra print blazer and i'm working on getting a cheetah print one so if you know where i can get a cheetah print one for the big girlies let me know so this next blazer that i have is this black briggs and company blazer i believe and i got this from the thrift store uh value village in racing wisconsin and it was only two dollars and fifty cents five dollars regular pipe regular price but it was half off day because i love to save a good coin and what i really love about this blazer is i don't know if you call the six buttons it has six buttons and the short sleeve of it all please ignore the starch outline i have to watch it wash it and iron it again but this is such a good comfortable blazer something that you can just throw on and go i decided to just style it with a denim skirt i was just trying something new let me know how y'all like how the outfit looks or if you would have done something else the quality of it and this brooch that you see on it i got from the thrift store as well I, because i have a lot of blazers and solid color ones i feel that when you put a brooch on a blazer it just makes it pop even more so i've been on a hunt of collecting brooches from the thrift store the next blazer the next one that i have is this white blazer that i got from banana and republic the factory outlet store it was 40 dollars in banana republic it is great quality i will say that this blazer is a size 18 and if you have big arms like me it's very tight on the arms and i think it's because of the uh fabric lining on the inside that makes it tight on the arms because other than that this fits around my waist just fine it's just tight on the arms and the fabric was really stretchy my favorite thing about this blazer is that it's white you need a white blazer and, and i decided to pair this with the denim skirt too just to give a look to show it just to give y'all a look of how it would be to style it, but usually I'll probably in the summertime wear this with some shorts or some wide leg pins. The next blazer, this red blazer is my baby. Red blazer is my baby. I talk about this red blazer a lot. It's the Talbot blazer that I got for $2 um, at the Salvation Army about 10 years ago. You hear me? 10 years ago. And I wasn't even into blazers at the time. I just saw, because red is my favorite color, I saw a blazer in red. I was like, oh, this is cute. And this top is, I think my mom actually bought it because I was in high school at that time. So I just got the blazer. I wear this blazer with everything. I feel like you can wear a red blazer with anything. Like I said, a blazer can just 
oof an outfit without doing too much, okay? Without doing too much, you step in the room, people see the red blazer, girl. Next one is this green blazer. I really love this little flap. It was just different, added a little texture to the outfit. It actually was a two-piece set, and I can fit the skirt, and maybe one day if I, I think I might make the cut the skirt shorter and do like a two-piece set, but the skirt fit as well. It would actually be really cute with some stockings and um, loafers. And I'm just thinking about that. So I might just go and do my little thing with the skirt. But it came with a skirt. I got this for $2.50. Well, I want to say $3 because it was a whole piece set. And I had got it half off at the Salvation Army. And I really just love this blazer. My favorite part about the blazer is the little ruffles at the bottom. And that you can put it up at the side. So it can add a little bit of texture to the outfit. And I accented it with a brooch. So this pink blazer, I, it is New York & Company XXL. I got from Goodwill for $2.50. It was brand new. And I decided to pair it with these zebra print, print pants. I just thought this pink blazer was so cute. I have about five pink blazers, but this one fit just right for me as far as the length of the arm length. The next blazer I absolutely love and I got it for $10 on New York and Company. If you cannot tell I'm a New York and Company fan and I hate that they're just online because I order off, this is a tangent, I order off the red line. But clearance you cannot return, it's the final sale. So if you get the, you, when you get the stuff you just pray that it's gonna fit, it's gonna fit you right. And luckily I haven't had any hit or misses except for these zebra print pants that I showed you previously that are high waters on me and will be. I remember I posted this in my community post on YouTube here. I was like, y'all, this blazer is $10. They don't have it in a 1X. So if you can, go grab it right now. And it's sold out, I want to say within two hours because I went back to check and check and see. So if y'all are watching this and you bought that blazer, let me know in the comments if you bought it and how do you like it as well. So that is my blazer collection, my mini blazer collection. And I'm going to be breaking it up into parts with all of my blazers because each of my blazers I love so much and it's always a story behind it. I think I might do a story time, like a little funny story time about finding my red blazer from Salvis and Salvation Army. We locked eyes and I just knew this blazer was mine so I had to grab it, blah, blah, blah. But I do have other blazers. I wanna say I have about 20 blazers but I haven't completed my rainbow. And my color, I still need a 
I have pink, I have yellow, I have green, I have purple, I have, I don't have a blue blazer, a light blue blazer. That is what I know I do not have and I need to get, I want to get, not a need, but I want to get. Thank you all for watching and let me know which blazer was your favorite or how you would have styled it or sh if I had a, a miss, like, girl, do not pair that blazer like this again. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!